stupid sister. You have no idea how many times she interrupts my commentaries. I could probably, like, make a list of how many times she just comes in and says, I want to do something. Will you do something? You need to take me this here. Holy shit. Now I'm all of a sudden regretting getting my damn car. I'm regretting it just terribly. It's like, yeah, car! I have freedom! Oh, wait! Every single time I go out, I have to take my sister somewhere. That just drains my gas and forces me to do more work to get the money for the car. Holy shit. It was just a death trap. If you have a si if any of you have a, have like a little bit of a younger sister and they bait you with a car, don't go for it. It's just a trap. It is just a trap. Say I'd rather walk than do that shit. Okay, here we go. So yeah, you didn't have to do any of that stuff. It's not required. All you have to do, really, is talk to these guys and say, Hey, I want to do the rumble racing because it's cool and stuff, and not really. Holy shit. And this is rumble racing. Basically, a very, very bad copy of Mario Kart. Which is what most rumble racing or racing games are, unless they are somehow linked to an actual, like, racing in real life. Which would be NASCAR, which is... I don't know. I don't know if you're into that. I'm not gonna judge you if you are, but... I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying stuff. So yeah, I think what you're supposed to do... You're supposed to win. And oh, if you hit R, you change... Uh, cameras. I completely forgot about that. Hey, I just found out by randomly hitting buttons. When in doubt, hit random buttons. And I like this... I like this camera angle a lot better. Let me see. Square lets you skid, so you kind of like... You do sharper turns. You just hold X to accelerate, basically. And if you want to, you can skid charge, which is your attack kind of thing. And you also have barrier in case somebody's attacking you, which... The inverse do a lot more than usual. A lot more than anybody else. So, I mean, there you go. And avoid the tornadoes. Doesn't really state where they start and stop and go in a different direction, but... You know, whatever. It's fine. And this game is very fun, considering how, like, one mistake could lead you back in fifth place. Even though you've been doing good all this time, and you've been hitting the accelerate button this whole time, you're still slower than them somehow. Smart. Smart people. They really are. Oh, guess who called that? Guess who was looking at the map and just decided to hit that randomly so I'd nail your ass? That was me. That was me right there. One more lap. Here we go. Got the shit. We got this. We got this. This is simple. And boom. Finish. I is a winner. Still, I didn't. I don't like it. And the worst part about this is to get to level 30 uh, Mirage Arena level, you have to go through some rumble racing. It's really stupid. And you even have to do like time trials, which is so retarded how difficult it is. Like you have to make sure that there's like only one other racer there, and that you don't make any mistakes, and you hit like every single accelerate gate or whatever the hell it is. I don't know. Oh, my cart must have sprung the spring. Yahoo's just wait. Next time I'll clobber all of you. Yippee! I hope he's gone for good. Nobody's gonna vote for a weasel like you, Pete. Pete? Vote? What are you talking about? Chip means the Million Dreams Award. It's a very popular part of our dream festival. Everyone in town votes for who we think is the most exemplary citizen. 
And since everybody knows how much of a troublemaker Pete is, he probably figured wearing a disguise was the only way he'd get any votes. No votes, no prize. Yeah, the prize is all he really wants anyway. He doesn't care about being a good citizen. Oh, I think that's very sad. The award is supposed to help us appreciate how much we all look out for each other every day. Well, one thing I know for sure, I'm voting for Terra. Your racing really saved the day against those monster carts. Hip hip hooray for Terra! <laughs> well, I got something out of it too. I learned that you don't always have to bend the rules to reach your goals. <laughs> All this time, I've been staring into the darkness. But that doesn't mean I have to jump in. Who do you think's gonna win this year's Million Dreams Award? Boy, oh boy! I hope it's the guy I voted for! I voted for him too! Now that we got so much business at the shop, maybe we'll be number one! Wow, Uncle Scrooge sure would be proud of us if we actually won! Yeah, and I bet Uncle Donald would be pretty surprised too! Hello everyone, and thank you for waiting. Now it's time to begin the main event of our Dream Festival. The Million Dreams Award Presentation. <laughs> Just skip to the part where you say my name. This is a shoe in Oh, how very exciting! This year, we have multiple winners. The Million Dreams Award goes to... Dentus, Aqua, and Tara. All three of you. <laughs> <laughs> Are they here now? What do you mean? <laughs> There's gotta be a mistake. Everybody voted for Captain Justice. I made sure. Now go on, tell her. No. <laughs> Better try the other one. The Rogue Racer, Captain Dark. We counted the votes very carefully. Ventus, Aqua, and Terra won. Oh, Pete, I think you tried to do something good, but you were doing it for the wrong reasons, and you went about it the wrong way. Still, a couple of citizens must have thought you had goodness in you because you actually got a few votes. They knew you were looking out for them. Big whoop. I don't need their lousy votes. Just cough up my prize. They voted for you because they believe in you and care about you. How could you look down on that? I've tried to forgive a lot of things you've done, but this is too much. Now you finally crossed the line. Like that matters to me. Besides, what are you going to do about it? Huh. I'm going to let you cool off for a while. Wait, wait, what? Hey, let me go. Put me down. What? No, you can't. No, no, no. Hey, easy. Ow! Now, shall we continue the ceremony? With the three winners, Ventus, Aqua, and Terra, Please come up and join me on the stage. Oh dear, it looks like our other two winners couldn't make it here to be with us today. Oh. Perhaps you would accept the award on their behalf. After all, you've been so kind to so many here at the Dream Festival. So now, I hereby present the Million Dreams Award as a token of how much you matter to us. Congratulations! <laughs> 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 
Thanks. And as an extra treat, we've created something special. An ice cream flavor just for you. Rock and Crunch Ice Cream. Oh my, I wish I had my own ice cream flavor. What's it taste like? Go on, try it. What do you think? Hmm, this is fantastic. Oh, we're all very glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> Who does she think she is dropping me in a place like this? Well, I'll just bust out of here and... Quite so. You do not possess that kind of power. Who? Who's there? Show yourself! That is enough. Stop your sniffling and heed my words. Um, okay. If you do exactly as I say, I may decide to release you from this prison. Really? Oh, then you can count on me. Just get me out of here and you can tell me what to do. A very wise choice indeed. Proceed. With your help, soon every world of existence will all be mine. Yeah, that was probably the longest cutscene I've ever sat through. And I've sat through that like three times now. Because I've had to re-record this so many times. Really, really, really stupid. Oh my fucking god. Okay then, well. Anyway. I apparently have to be going places to... I have to drop my sister off at the library. But, yeah, I'll be back a little bit. For, finish off recording this. Hopefully. I really hope so. Anyway, see you guys later. <laughs>